Krásný den, vítám vás u dnešního videa, které bude tady s mým přítelem. A rozhodli jsme se odpovědět na nějaké vaše otázky, které jsem dávala vlastně na Instagram, že se můžete ptát, takže... A budeme mluvit anglicky. Right. Yeah. Lepší. Lepší. A, takže budete tady mít ale titulky. Takže jdeme na to. You want to choose some questions if we... No, go ahead. Answer. No? No. No? Okay. How is the living together by far? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, we moved in my flat, so we are together in on one place. Because you have also flat uh, in, in Prague, yeah. but now we are at my place together. And it's fine. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's true that uh, when we were in your place, was better because it's in the city center, so we were walking to the restaurants, but that was the only advantage of this flat. Because it didn't have any garage. This is nice small nice small flat. But it's cute. Yeah. How did we meet? We already were doing a video about yeah. it. So you have to find that video where we are explaining how we met. What is the age gap between us? 19 years. Na now 19. <laughs> <laughs> but when you will have a birthday at the uh, beginning. Okay, then it will be 20, like, but it's uh, 19. One, one, nine. <laughs> Red flags in Italian men. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's easier to find the uh, green flags. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> I think Czech men have more red flags than Italian ones. Really? I, I, I so. don't know. I'm not experienced in dating uh, Czech men. So <laughs> yes. Nor Italian men, so I, I don't know. Don't Me, know. yes. So I think, I mean, it depends. Everybody is different, of course. But I think Italian men are more passionate. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. So. Tener <laughs> <laughs> is good to be passionate. Come on. Okay, when you say so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean. But red flag. I don't think that you have that much, that many red flags. No, just because you haven't discovered yet. I do think so. But after <laughs> two years I didn't discover it. <laughs> you never know. No, I don't think you have. Are there some red flags in Czech girls? <laughs> <laughs> Like mm. in comparison with Italian women? I don't know. I haven't been dating an Italian woman ever. So. I think there was also a question if I you mean, ever been dated dating Italian. Dating not uh, for a long time. So you are not, uh, you are not really... In a relationship with an Italian woman, with no. A... I think... I've been spending abroad most of my life, so that's probably... Ah, that's true, that you didn't have that much even opportunity to meet. Ah, somebody was asking, how did you look when you were young? I think I was sharing on my Instagram a maybe, few pictures. Yeah, maybe if you will send me some pictures mm. I can put there. You were very okay. handsome guy. Of course you are. Now you are charismatic. Uh, not handsome. Ah, of course you are, <laughs> but I mean, you are growing like a, like a yeah, wine. Man. Of course. What opinion have uh, your family on me? I think they, they find you nice. I mean, so uh, especially my mom, which hasn't met you yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we will like each other. <laughs> yeah, probably, yes. No, I think uh, generally good opinion. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, probably um, thinking about uh, my daughter, which is the person we, you met uh, the most frequently. Yeah, that's true. I mean, she, she has a very good opinion about you. There was a, yeah, there was also a question if I met uh, your your daughter yeah. or your child. You have only, only one, one child, <laughs> that I know. which is your daughter. <laughs> She's 13 and we are meeting each other. Yeah. So. So do you think she has good opinion on you? Yeah, she has, yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, that's good. <laughs> ah, if it was a fair, like a love at first sight? Yeah, I think, kind of, no? Yeah, really? No. 
I mean, when somebody is asking me that question, I don't think it was like love at first sight because I, no, I don't... Attraction I, at first Attraction, sight. that's yeah. the point. I think we had a good chemistry from the beginning, mm -hmm. but I don't believe really on love at first sight because I think I have to a little bit get to know the person to, to, to fall in love, but not immediately that I met you and I was like, <gasps> I mean, yes, of course, we yeah. were very sympathetic, yeah. but it was not like I I met you and I was in love. No, I, I, had, I had to a little bit get to know you and then I was like falling, falling in love with you. That was you not, not, not very romantic, but it's true. true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. No, you don't have it like this? Yeah, no, of course. No, I of mean, course you, you love me uh, at first sight, yeah. no? Of course. <laughs> no, that's true, it takes time. I mean. Yeah, I think. What we like on each other. You first. Oh, I first. <laughs> I like, I was already telling you so many times what I like on you. I like that you are very optimistic, very, very kind. You are usually in a good mood most of the time. I also like that um, you are not that you are happy in every situation, that you are not very like picky, let's say, that you are happy like in most of the situation, let's say. And that's what I like the most in you. Okay. No, I mean, you know, I mean, that, uh, you're elegant, I like that you're independent, uh, independent, strong woman. Um, mm -hmm. I like uh, many things about you, like that uh, you're not picky at all. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> we know that. Easy going. <laughs> no, th that like you I mean, how mm, no, do you say in English? What? Uh, I mean, kind of um, that you have a nice uh, character somehow. A temperament. Nice, uh, temperament. Yeah, it. probably that is the word. Okay. I mean, yes. I will tell you my opinion, and if mm. I don't like it, I will tell you, and I will let you know that I really don't like it. If I don't like, I don't know, a place or a restaurant or something. She should really let you know. Yeah. I can... No, but I think I... Trust me. <laughs> I, I really want to work on me to be more easygoing than well, I mean, uh, what I am. Because sometimes I'm really stubborn. That I, I decide that I have maybe some first... My first express, expression, first expression mm -hmm. is bad. And then, I mean, maybe... It's just the first expression and impression maybe, then. In, ah, sorry, impression, that's yeah. the word. And then maybe it's not that bad, but because I decided that my first impression was bad, then that's everything bad. is bad. And I think I am like this sometimes. But that was not the question. Okay. So <laughs> if we are thinking about uh, living together in Italy. But actually, I would like to live in Italy, to be, to be honest, mm -hmm. so uh, I like Prague. You would like to live in Prague? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. I mean, I like that uh, we are some time in Italy, but I always like to come back in Prague and I like to live permanently here. That's the point. I mean, Italy is good for a vacation, but I mean, to live in Italy is, uh, is not as, uh, as wonderful as you may think. I mean, depends, where, depends where, that's the point. Mm. I mean, maybe not in Verona, neither in Milano, but maybe somewhere a little bit south, <laughs> where it's more sun, close to the sea. But then you have other disadvantages, I mean. That definitely. But, but then, I mean, um, everybody has his own uh, uh, taste, of course. I mean, I like Prague and love with Prague, so I, pre I would prefer to live in Prague. Mm -hmm. And which disadvantages have what? the living close to the sea, on the south of Italy. I mean, usually you don't have that many opportunities, let's put it this way, mm. in the south of Italy. Like it, work uh, opportunities. Work. Mm. And also, I mean, uh, the overall uh, uh, services you can get there yeah, is not mm. maybe the um, high standard that you may, you may have in Prague or mm. in the north of mm. Italy. Yeah, depends again on the city and mm. the exact place. How big distance? we would tolerate in the relationship and if we think 
the relationship would be functioning it's if it's like a Czech Republic and America. Uh, Czech Republic and America, I think, would be uh, too, too, I mean, too, too difficult, probably. Yeah. I think uh, if you are in a kind of three hours uh, range, flight range, mm -hmm. I think that makes sense more. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Not impossible. Depends how much uh, you love uh, the other person, I guess. But definitely uh, much harder. Yeah, that's what we are always saying, that we are lucky that there is just one hour flight to Italy from Czech Republic and the other way around, that is very easy to see each other and the flights are also quite cheap, so that's fine. It's pity that there are no flights to Verona because we have that's to always pity. fly to Milano, but hopefully they will renew the flights because there were flights, direct ones from Prague to Verona, so hopefully in future. Uh, but yeah, I don't think that for a longer period would be functioning when it's too far like America. When you maybe know that somebody is studying there and at some point it will stop and you will be living together, maybe. But when, when you know it's a little bit permanent like in our uh, situation, I mean, it's fine because we still have this just one hour flight, so it's very easy to see each other mm -hmm. when we want. Biggest dis disadvantage in the relationship, uh, like a long distance relationship. <laughs> and you don't see that often, each other? <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, that, that is the biggest disadvantage. And sometimes that, that there are some important events or like a celebration or something that I wish you are here, but I mean, you are in Italy, you have to be in Italy, so that is sometimes a little bit difficult in that case. But, uh, I mean, we see also some advantages. Let's also say some advantages, what we see on a relationship. But you're not getting into the, the routine, you know, the routine is kind of killing couples, and uh, that is helping not getting into. So when we are seeing each other, we're kind of uh, happy. We're not uh, giving that as granted. So um, I think that is a big advantage. Exactly. That we have the time to miss each other, so we can look forward to see again each other. Mm -hmm. And we don't have this um, like feeling that we are so long together. I don't know how you call it in, in Italy, but we are calling it like this um, this ship which is going under the sea when you are so long with somebody. Submarine. Ah, yeah, yeah, we are calling it that you have a submarine with somebody well, in Czech language, when you are so long with somebody. Submarine. Yeah, that you are like stuck together, let's say. Ah, okay, I see. So, so we don't have that. Mm. Because we still have some time and also it's perfect for our work because we can more focus on our work and our, on our friends, let's say. So we have this time uh, when we know that we are alone and we can do whatever we want. And then when we have the week which we are together, we are maybe more focusing on, on, on us time together. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Why we call each other on social media? like uh, Milacek and me, I'm calling you Italian instead of real names? That's a good question. I mean, Milacek, because it's Milacek, you know, like nice, uh, uh, sweet name somehow, not to call mm. uh, your, your girlfriend. Ital, I mean, that's really, like the, the Italian, I mean, <laughs> come on. You don't like it? I mean, I have a name or I mean, you could call it like something like, uh, I don't know, Tesorino or something like that, Ital. Yeah, but when I am speaking about <laughs> you with a people like this, they know it's you because you are you are my Italian uh, guy. Of course. You know? But it's true that we are not calling each other by names, but even in like personal life. Mm -hmm. I mean sometimes She's called me Ital also. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, I am not. No, I am calling you how? My baby, I am calling you Mostly baby. Okay, but I will not be talking about you like a baby when I am writing about you on social media. So that's why I call you more formal maybe. But because it's still social media, it's still people who I don't know. So, I mean, to me it's too personal to call you... Okay, Davide. Uh, but Davide is 
to me is so not personal. When it's Davide, okay. it's maybe my friend, it's maybe my okay. like, but not my boyfriend. You know, understand? understand? Okay. I'm not. I'm not used to call somebody by names when I'm in a relationship. That's fine. That's I mean, fine. I'm the Italian. Yes, you are. The my, only one. My Italian. Exactly. If we are not scared to have a long distance relationship, if we 100% believe each other. We, um, yes. <laughs> I think we build trust over time. It's true that maybe at the beginning I was not used to because you are quite used to to have mm -hmm. a like a long distance relationship because you had in past but me no <laughs> so of course I had to build trust to you but you are not doing anything that I sh should be scared or not believe you we are calling each other very often you are calling me almost every evening I mean every evening usually it's very rare that you are not calling me we are communicating with each other a lot so thanks to social media and like uh, mobile phones that we can be still in connection if, even when we are not together personal yeah right i was saying i love you first you you no, me. you me me, me. <gasps> no, me, me. me. you don't you don't remember yeah, of course no it was me <laughs> you don't remember it of course it was you. Yeah, I was okay. waiting to so you are saying first. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Would yeah. not tell you first yeah. like a woman, no. If you are not jealous. No. <laughs> no, it's not. Sometimes maybe you should be a bit. <laughs> it's not changing anything to be to be jealous. I mean uh, it's just weight waste of uh, energy and I mean waste of negative energy mm. so it's completely useless yes that's true but i mean not everybody can control it you know because you have a feeling so you are sometimes jealous because you're in love i am not giving you any reasons to, to be jealous not that i know ah, okay <laughs> that was a very funny question i was already telling you that she noticed, this girl, that we got skinny if we were doing some diet. <laughs> not, not, not really, a little the, the other way around. Exactly. I, mean, I think I got at least uh, two kilos, two, three kilos maybe since we met, uh -huh. two kilos. And yeah, so definitely was not uh, getting slimmer. <laughs> yeah, the truth is that we both maybe gained a few kilos. Because we like to eat, we like to eat a good food. And me, I am usually not eating a whole dish, so you are sometimes finishing for me. So I cannot eat good food like, not like that. I mean, <laughs> just staying. Yeah, but not that much. I mean, no. We are still not neither skinny, but neither fat. I think we are fine. Yeah, that I like handbags and let's say fashion. What is your passion? I like to stay with people I like. I mean, it's not. Uh, I don't have that many like uh, uh, materialistic passions. Mm -hmm. You're a very sociable person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I prefer to to spend money to to stay with friends or with with people I, mm -hmm. I like love, and, and that's it. And materialistic, you were saying that you like this uh, coins. Yeah, when I was uh, uh, a small child, I was uh, collecting the coins. Mm -hmm. um, and till now, I kind of uh, like. I'm not collecting anymore, but um, that's true that I I do like them. Yes. Wouldn't it be easier to move just to one country? Of course. <laughs> yes. Th thanks for the suggestion. I mean, uh, now that you you tell that, uh, that might be true. <laughs> wow, we were not thinking about that. <laughs> now the truth is that uh, it's not possible now. So yeah, if we like more Prague or Verona. Prague. I mean. Verona have very similar vibe like Prague, definitely. But yeah, me too. I like Prague more. Mm, it's much better Prague. 
Ma è live to be in Verona. No, Verona is a beautiful nice. city. I mean, it's, in Italy it's probably one of the best uh, city to, uh, to live in, in my opinion. Yeah. Do we have sometimes a uh, language barrier? Time to time it's true that uh, we may uh, struggle a little bit to find the right words right and so on, but yeah. most of the time we were able to understand each other. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, most of the times we understand, we already know each other, so sometimes mm -hmm. we even know what the other one means, or we are translating to, mm -hmm. to the native language of each other. But sometimes there are no, not the exact word or like the exact expression. Yeah, but uh, then, then we explain but the other words. Exactly. And, uh, but we anyway understood very well, understand very well. This girl is asking uh, what I don't like on Italy and what you don't like in Czech Republic. So I will start. Me, what I don't like in Italy, especially maybe in Milano, is that there are a lot of, lot of people and you can see it on the city. That, I mean, Prague is also a big city, but Milano is something different. And you can see that there is um, impossible to park, a lot of traffic, um, sometimes it's a little bit dirty-ish. The, the, you can see, I mean, the city center is quite nice, but when you are walking a little bit uh, like far, farther from the city center, it's dirty, -ish. maybe you're even a little bit scared if somebody will not steal something from you. So, I mean, you can see the disadvantages of bigger city like this. Do you think it's true? Yeah, no, it is, mm -hmm. definitely. Me, I, I, I mean, um, in Prague, I, I cannot really find any any kind of uh, disadvantage. To be to mm -hmm. be honest, then if you're talking about Czech Republic, then uh, of course, I mean, uh, if you like to ski or to swim, uh, then uh, swim, uh, swim. I mean, if you want to go to the seaside, okay, you have lakes. But if you like uh, to go to the seaside and enjoy the seaside, uh, there is not the sea. So probably the bigger the, the bigger disadvantage is the sea. <laughs> It's not there and it's quite far, by the way, because by the case of the Republic is really mm -hmm. in the center of Europe. Yeah. Um, same with the mountains, I mean, you have some nice mountains, but uh, right. if you want to ski, um, uh, you, you don't have the, the, the right mountains with the right slopes, so mm. um, that is maybe the disadvantage I see, mm -hmm. but uh, moreover, I mean, I like, um, I like uh, living in uh, mm -hmm. Czech Republic, in Prague especially. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, we, we still have some mountains, I mean, for most of the Czech people it's fine, but when you try once to go abroad to Italy, to, to France, to, to Austria, then it's not the same to go skiing here. So that's true, that uh, we have it quite far if we want to really experience the seaside or like a true, true Alps or Dolomites or, or this kind of mountains. Overall, I think we are a good country anyway. If at the beginning of the relationship we, are, we were not scared about the distance? No. Me, no. No? No, because you are anyway going to, to Prague. So we, we knew that anyway you will be, you will be there. So I'm, I was not thinking about it actually. I was excited to date a foreigner actually. <laughs> because I was never dating anybody from foreign countries. So. To me it was exciting because I like to travel, my, my work is allowing me to, to travel a lot, so I was actually uh, excited that I will be maybe more traveling to you. Who is bigger perfectionist and likes to clean? <laughs> no. No, likes to clean, I think uh, none of us, okay? Um, yeah. I may be more picky, let's say. Picky in what? In, I mean, I like the stuff to be cleaned, let's put it this way. We were discussing that. The point is that my work requires a lot of items. I am receiving cosmetics, I am receiving clothing, I have to show you, I am making video. So there is mess, but it's not mess that is like messy, messy, but it's like a dirt, I mean, you know? 
but there is mess from the items because I'm working with them and then I mean I am exhausted maybe from working and I'm not immediately cleaning it the items but it's not like dirt dirt but anyway we both have a cleaner which is like regularly cleaning our flats so yeah I think anyway we like to have a clean space both <laughs> You're scared to say something, right? Say anything. To say that maybe I'm a bit more picky than you. Ah, okay, that's when you say so. The only thing. They want to hear the story why I didn't come to a first date. Yeah, but that, that is a long story. We and have we to make uh, another yeah, video about yeah. that. So. And that was funny. Exactly. Stay tuned. We will tell you, but not now because it's a it's a good story to yeah. tell. Ah, like which uh, travel plans do we have? Which travel plans do mm -hmm. we have? Like where we plan to travel to. We're going to Turin now? Yes. That's it, we don't have that many plans at the N moment. Na we're... Now no, it's true. I mean, we were thinking about going skiing somewhere, mm -hmm. maybe to some Moritz, but of course it's very expensive, so we are trying to see if there is some reasonable accommodation. So we were thinking about that, and overall we don't have that many plans actually now. Not for the moment, no. but usually we're traveling more in uh, spring, summer than, yeah. uh, than in, uh, in winter. Yeah, I mean, maybe we will be traveling uh, in Italy, like uh, maybe if we are not going to San Moritz, maybe we will go skiing in Italy somewhere, yeah. or maybe even here in Czech Republic, we can go skiing. So during winter we are going skiing usually, which is which we don't have to go that far. Which handbag do you like the most that I have? <laughs> well, I like uh, that black one from uh, La Boutin. Okay. That one I like. And, and also this yellow from, um, from um, Louis, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, which is very um, special, I would ah, say. Yeah, really? Yeah. You like that yeah. one? Okay. It's also my favorite. If we are planning to get some pet together? No. No. <laughs> no? No. I mean, we were talking about it that I would like to maybe have some pet like here in Prague because uh, I mean, I have a big flat, I could maybe have some small dog or cat, but we are traveling a lot and I don't think it's convenient. I mean, when my parents would live here in Prague, it would be so much easier because I just could give them the pet to, to take care of when I'm traveling or they, they could be here to, to take care of it. But because we are in Liberec, it doesn't make sense to travel with the pet there. I mean, it's almost like to have a child, which we also don't want. So I think with the pet it's a little bit similar. So we are not planning now to have it. This girl is interested how I was going this thing with this article that they were writing about that stuff. Yeah, we just sent them uh, um, a formal letter from, um, from my lawyer and I will see um, how the things will be going. We're just asking to, to remove that uh, and that, uh, that was offensive and that was not acceptable and that's it. For those who don't know, there was an article in Slovak, um, like a boulevard, I don't know how it's called, like let's say Slovak newspaper, but this uh, magazine, Gossip online, oh, exactly, and they were uh, saying about me that I am a gold digger, so, I mean, it was not my idea to put uh, put them in, in a lawsuit, but um, I'm very glad that that you that you want. Of to course, I mean, why, why they should say something like that? It's not um, it's not the case. I mean, you're independent. Uh, you are afford your lifestyle by by yourself. Uh, I'm living your flat when I'm here, <laughs> and I'm uh, actually using your car with the driver even. With <laughs> the premier driver. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So why why they should say like that? It's kind of uh, quite balanced. Of course, I'm a gentleman for going yeah. out. Uh, I mean. I'm paying for restaurants, mm -hmm. but uh, I mean, you're buying your clothes, you're buying your bags, you're buying your flat, your car, so why why they should be saying like, like that? I mean, I exactly. think it's offensive and uh, it's uh, not true. Exactly. I'm glad that you are saying that and I'm glad that you decided to, to try to um, 
solve it with them because it's not, it's not okay that people are people still have those stereotypes. I don't like it. How we will be spending Christmas? <laughs> so on 23rd you will be in Prague yep. and we will be having uh, let's say our Christmas and then uh, you will be spending 24th with your daughter and me with my family yep. so like this we will be spending our Christmas you didn't want to say you were <laughs> no thinking. I mean uh, for me uh, Christmas is a bit of um, a difficult time let's put it this way I mean mm. it's a, the kind of period that um, I feel I should be doubling and the fact that uh, mm. we're not uh, living in the same city, let's say, and mm. then, then, then is making everything a little bit uh, uh, stressful, let's put it this way, mm -hmm. for me. But, um, I mean, it's just a question of organization and uh, a bit of flexibility, let's say. Mm -hmm. Last question, okay? I think it's already too long. That we look good together if we ever argue together. <laughs> <laughs> We are, of course. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't look that good when we are. Exactly. <laughs> we I mean, are. how we're saying in, in Czech, we have this Italian household. Yeah. You don't know, actually, it's very but interesting. But she's Italian. <laughs> I mean, we are both passionate, so, so then it looks like this. Usually it's, it's starting with a, such a stupid thing, like a, so stupid. When I think back, why we start to argue about something is so funny to me now. But... I mean, yeah, we are passionate and we are saying that we have this Italian household, but in Italy they don't know this, this uh, expression. No. No. You don't, I mean, you were telling me that you don't know what is Italian household. No, but because we're Italian. I mean, that's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but do, do you think it's true that uh, like a relationship in Italy are very passionate and people are arguing? Yeah, I mean, that, that is part of the stereotypes of, uh, of Italians. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, that, that's true that maybe in some area of Italy it's a little bit uh, like that, you know, mm -hmm. not uh, everywhere, definitely not, um, I mean, less, uh, let's say, in, in the northern Italy. Yeah. But she's the Italian. Yeah. I mean, you too. <laughs> In Italy, they are, they are telling me that I look like Italian, mm -hmm. so yeah, probably I have in my blood some mm -hmm. some roots from Italy. <laughs> okay, so that that was it for okay. today. Uh, we received so many questions, so maybe in future we will do something similar. But um, uh, we just wanted to answer some some questions because we are already two years together. So. That is some time, uh, so we wanted to answer some questions that you had. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, that was it. Stay tuned for the story how I didn't come to the, <laughs> to the first date. That was nice. <laughs> that was really funny. Okay, yeah. bye. Ciao.